Mid Journey version 5.1 has just been released. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some quick highlights and then afterwards I'll show you the major difference between 5.1 compared to the 5.0 version. So first off, apparently it is much easier to use short prompts. They also have an unopinionated mode for version 5.1 which they call raw mode. And then also you can still use version five if that is your favor. So first thing is these are the main highlights. They say higher coherence, more accuracy to text prompts, which I actually did try it out myself, fewer unwanted borders or text artifacts and improved sharpness. So those so far are clearly showcasing better details and showcases how to get set up. So let me actually show you how to switch to version 5.1 in case you don't know. So here I am on the chat. So all you need to do is simply type in slash and then you can either type in settings or if you see the pop up, click on that and then that will showcase the settings. And then press enter and then it'll show it to you. So here is what it should look like on your screen. And if you have not have it switched already, you will simply go ahead and click on version 5.1. And now you can see there is this raw mode. And then also, if you've never seen the settings option, there's a bunch of different things you can play around with. And again, that's go ahead and test it out for yourself. But now let's go ahead and see the major differences between 5.1 and 5.0 so here is the first test and i simply typed in futuristic city in japan with bright neon lights now can you guess which version this is give you a second and if you did guess this is the version 5.0 so now take a quick look at this get in all the details and now let's switch over to version 5.1 to see the major differences now here it is version 5.1 now at a quick glance, you might not really notice too much of a difference. However, in this particular photo, it gives me a better clear vision of a downtown looking street. It has more of a city Japanese style vibe. And overall, I think in terms of accuracy, it might be better for this particular prompt. But let's go on to some additional prompts to see how much better it is. So here is another image I tried to create. And can you even guess what I typed in for this? Essentially, I put giant shark with muscles bench pressing at the gym. Now, as we can see, it is currently version five. And this is a giant shark at the gym, but I'm not really 100% sure what he's doing. He even has a personal trainer down here in the bottom corner. But now let's see the difference with this crazy image with the 5.1. So here it is version 5.1 with the exact same prompts and in terms of the actual results I think the personal trainer in the photos it looks like it's much more focused on the actual shark trying to bench press so it actually gives that sort of fitness training vibe however I was ideally hoping I could see a shark literally using its arms or fins to pick up weights but I guess I'd have to change up my prompt. But as you can see, this one, it's slightly harder to notice the major difference. Maybe the actual guys, the humans in this prompt make it look a little bit better. But in general, this particular one, I couldn't really see too much of a difference. But let's go on and try out a different prompt now. So here is one, and this is version five. Now it actually looks pretty good in terms of the actual results and essentially just puts model wearing swim goggles underwater and as you can see you can see the bubbles you can see the details and i mean at this point in today's world this looks pretty decent in terms of quality but now let's see if 5.1 can give a even better result so here's 5.1 now to be honest i think version 5 for the simplistic sake was much better but for 5.1 as you can see there's significantly more details the actual water bubbles and just the environment look kind of crazy so maybe if you're looking for that artistic feel 5.1 would make sense for example the bottom left picture looks pretty cool it looks significantly more realistic the other ones kind of that angle seems kind of insane and especially if you're ever been in, in the sea fishes don't just swim next to you that close 
you know, just for a photo. It's kind of, unless, you know, there's millions of them, but for the most part, typically they'll be f moving away from you. So I think this image just seems pretty unrealistic, but it has a cool effect. And this is the difference with particularly, I was looking at the underwater particle section to see if it could change it up. But now let's go on and try something even completely different from this. So here's another image, and this is of a luxurious penthouse in a futuristic city. So this so far, I mean, it looks pretty decent. And I personally would love to stay in one of these uh, rooms. They look crazy, the, especially the bottom left of the windows and everything in here. And as of this first glance, I mean, I don't see any, anything wrong with it. It looks pretty good, but this is version five. So now let's see the updated version, how much different is the result. So here is the version 5.1. And from first glance, it seems that the details, I can clearly tell the difference in the lighting, the shadows for these images. It looks significantly better in my opinion. And even the bottom right picture was straight up a completely different angle. So it shows up like an aerial view, something like a drone or helicopter would be seeing versus just them all being inside. So, I mean, I can see the little progression and that could easily foreshadow in version six plus seven, et cetera, to even more detail. But so far, I mean, they both look amazing. And again, it just depends on the naked eye if you can even see a difference or not. But so far, this one does clearly look a little bit sharper, which they did state in the updates. Now let's try another prop, see what else they got going on. Now here is another image I wanted to test out because I wanted to see how does Mid Journey compare with a crowd of people or anything with a ton of details. And this simply I just put a crowd of people walking on a beach pier and this is version five. So, so far it seems as the detailed type images, it's not the greatest for version five. Obviously it's still incredible. It has you know thousands of people looks like on a pier. But in terms of the realism, the design, for example, this bottom left one doesn't really make sense. Actually, I personally never seen a pier with the ocean coming from that side. But again, it's just all design wise. But so far, this is one of the designs for a crowd of details. So essentially heavy, heavily detailed images. Now let's see version 5.1, how much different is it? So now we can see 5.1 and to be honest, only I think this bottom left one has more of like that realism feel. The other ones look more cartoon-like. So actually version 5.0 might actually be significantly better. But then again, if I were to revise this, maybe because you see a better result. But personally, I'm not a fan of this particular result. Maybe the only bottom left image. But the other ones, they seem more almost fake or even hard to tell. So, so far, looks like uh, 5.0 might be better for the smaller details. But then again, we could try this out with a different prop and see if we get a different result. But overall, that was just some of the updates. And here is when I tried with text and I simply said, create a sign that says, hey, how are you? Now, if you've used Mid Journey, you know it's very, very inaccurate when it comes to writing specific text. So if you have people call it and say, hey, I wanna say exactly this, usually it doesn't work. So from here, I mean, the thing I've noticed compared to the previous version is one is actually writing out simpler text. So like put hey, so it has the H's, even though the accurate letters aren't particularly the ones I wanted to have it written out, it still looks significantly better. But I still think there's a lot of more updates they need to make until they can actually create full on text exactly what you want. But that is just the current view of Mid Journey and the major update. So if you wanna see the latest in the AI space, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video and thank you for watching.